Hello everyone, welcome back to... What? Oh yeah, that's right. Welcome back to Doom. This is Dis. Dis is another name for hell, which is interesting because I thought we were in hell all along, but okie dokie. Uh, see that bastard over there? He's fucking shooting me already. So all these enemies here are designed to make you wake that bugger up, but apparently we've already woken that bugger up, so I guess we'll live with it. Uh, having already fought a cacodemon in this particular um, part of Doom, this uh, ow, 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 this episode of Doom, why not give us an even more annoying enemy, which is a mechanical spider with a chain gun on the front. Can you please stop moving sideways in a very predictable manner that I can't actually lead because the game won't let me. So basically what we do here is we shoot this motherfucker with as many of those as we can manage until we run out of... That was an amazing shot. Kudos to you, sir. Help. That was not HP. I genuinely cannot believe... Altria stood in awe of the spider demon. I honestly cannot believe that the uh, Kakademon shot did so much damage. This being said, we have 0% armor. So yeah, we fought, uh, we fought a cyber demon already. Why not? Um, that didn't hurt so much, so I don't know what the other one's all about. Why not fight uh, the spider demon, did it say? Yeah, that's not a very interesting name, is it? At least a spider king or something like that. I mean, come on. So the problem here, basically, what's happening is... Uh, if we go in there and get the armor... Seven, please. We, um... We lose out on a lot of the cover that we earn from this. However... There's nothing up there now except for a few cells, unfortunately. Really, this is just an exercise in running backwards and forwards. I believe the spider demon is making standard demon noises. That was easy. <laughs> we win. Ta-da! That is the end of Doom 1. However, this is Ultimate Doom. The loathes loathsome spider demon that masterminded the invasion of the moon bases and caused so much death has had its ass kicked for all time. True story. A hidden doorway opens and you enter. You've proven too tough for hell to contain and now hell at last pays, plays fair for you emerge from the door to see the green fields of Earth home at last. You wonder what's been happening on Earth while you were battling Evil Unleashed. It's good that no Hellspawn could have come through that door with you. Yeah, because of course this sort of, sort of thing is very traditional of uh, a 1993 computer game. There's Earth for you. Uh, with <laughs> just a single picture. <laughs> Um, obviously, 4x3 ratio, because that's what we were playing with those days. Uh, and a textual description written by developers, probably. <laughs> Just by its slightly awkward um, symbology. And a gross picture of a huge citadel on fire. Brilliant! So, there you go, that is the end of Doom 1, and we will continue playing because we have one more episode thy flesh consumed now originally we would have moved into doom 2 here I, this is another episode uh, i did not realize was available to us right now uh, another level that i didn't realize is part of this game basically uh we would have moved into doom 2 doom 2's final boss was of course um the icon of sin which was the big wall with the face on it if you remember that, that's from Doom 2, in case you were wondering and was like, where the hell, heck is it? Um, I just corrected myself saying hell to saying heck, because, you know, we can't... Just as children watching. Can't be seen to be too vulgar. On the I don't want to be that close, thank you very much. Hell beneath. So, somewhere in all of this, we have stepped through the door onto Earth, and this is... Earth itself? I have no idea, to be quite honest with you. Um, what we're looking at. Because in Doom 2, Doom 2, it, Doom 2 is called Hell on Earth, and it's basically the same game, except you get a super shotgun, which has two barrels instead of one, and that is the whole feature of Doom 2. Um, 
Were there new enemies? Perhaps. But basically, Doom 2 is the same game with two barrels in the shotgun. If you find that shotgun. I did not like the sound of that. There he is in there. Please. Didn't dodge it. That's very unfortunate. I came in here to try and get those. And ended up costing me more HP than I actually received. Uh, I do not like this. There must be randomised damage. Because the amount of damage I took from that was... High. <laughs> what do we do here? What? They're called sergeants, by the way. So there you go. Uh, it might take a few goes at this game, this particular level. So what I think we might want to do is shoot these bastards with this. Save our shotgun ammo as much as possible. That one shot that one, which super helps. There's definitely a game in which the shotgun trooper is a thing. I wonder what it is. And I don't mind running out of ammo for this. Although there is some more here. Because shells are going to be a lot more important. Going forward. He said in a big sarcastic voice so that everybody knows. The phrase going forward is completely non-essential uh, in the English language. And we should action its removal. Forthwith. That was an ironic juxtaposition of new and old. Why does that go... Chunk. Sounds like it's trying to open something, but I don't know what. Uh, an ironic juxtaposition of new and old parlance. There's actually some armor there that I missed last time. And also, I didn't take the time to shoot those buggers through the gate. So maybe should have done. 33. Maybe I didn't miss it last time. I think what we don't do here is go all guns blazing. We want to make sure we can control a lot of this riffraff before we uh, wake up that Baron of Hell. Slash Hell Knight, whatever it's called. No, we don't have any bullets left. Um, which means we basically are required to use our shotgun shells, which is <clears throat> mild pest, but we're already in a better position because we haven't woken up that bastard who forced me onto the goo here. So now we can jump in here. The fact that one shotgun shell did not take out that imp. Bit upsetting. Gonna be honest. Right, so now we have 20 bullets inside here. Uh, we're gonna have to somehow deal with this Baron of Hell or ignore it. Now, I remember there's a level in which it's uh, required, basically, to ignore Two cyber demons. Can we get out of here? No. Shit. Yes. Um. And a spider thingy. There is no health on this entire level. What? That didn't leave us a mark. Which usually means. It's an invisible door. Do you notice how abruptly the music stopped there? It's very disconcerting. Please don't be there. He's not there. Whew. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Where did you come from? Ah! Fuck. <laughs> this is so hard. Oh, my God. This is just a challenge, right? I mean... Basically what they've done is thrown so many things at me that I can't cope. Except what they've actually done is thrown many things at me that I can cope with. Uh, and then one thing that I have no idea how to deal with. Uh, also, that was a terrible start. I might have to just redo all of this map. Just because I'm now on 90% health. You have to get through this without taking very much damage at all. Which seems to be quite difficult. Simply because... How, right? Come on. Line up. There we go. Uh, I think it's the very first level. This is the one I was talking about. Oh, shit. Well. 
I mutated. That's brilliant. So, look, this wakes everything up, even though it doesn't make a sound. I find it quite interesting. It's the limitation of the engine, of course. I think there's a lot of stuff in Doom 2, actually, that I have just forgotten is part of Doom 2. Uh, but I think that might be final Doom that I'm thinking of. I mean, HP would be great. I'm just saying. What we want to do is avoid picking up those eight, those health... Those armor things over there. Before we've... Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate, but it's not really working. Before we've... Uh, ooh. Ooh. You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so, brain. But where are we going to find an open tattoo parlor at this time of night? Uh, don't pick up those until we've opened this. And then beat the seven shades of hell out of the hell knight before it can do any more damage to us than it did last time. I mean, there are there's refuges. First of all, don't take the... Um, Don't take those armor pieces until we got full armor like we do now. One of these is going to teleport at me at some point. I'm going to be a sad panda. There we go. I went quiet because I was thinking of the sexual harassment panda part from South Park. <laughs> Try to remember it all. Ah, I don't actually know the song, although the song does have words, much like what Kenny says in the original introductions in the original theme tunes. There are things being said there. No fucking idea what it is. Couldn't tell you. Can't remember. So this is a good time to kill that. Kill that. Already killed that. Kill that. So it looks like you can't actually see that Baron of Hell. Oh my god, I just shot myself. <laughs> That's terrible. Ah! This is a long episode of me dying, but I hope it's entertaining because this is actually really, really difficult and you've seen me basically own this game. I died maybe three or four times in the entirety of the first three episodes and now I'm dying endlessly on this one because what I'm trying to do is get as much efficiency as I can out of my early game weaponry. And it's lucky that I discovered that there was a, um, a rocket launcher down there at all or we would have been here all day. And you're all probably going, there's a rocket launcher, don't you know? Just look, look behind the, look behind the lift, look behind the lift. Of course, I didn't realise there was a lift until I accidentally fell in and mutated anyway, but... I like how it says I mutated, even though, obviously, I died. I'm like, what's the point in mutating if it kills you? An armour bonus. See, I keep getting stuck on stuff. It's entirely my own fault. I'm not trying to blame the game, it's just... Stop being shit at the game is what I'm trying to tell myself here. It doesn't automatically switch to a rocket launcher, which I'm very grateful for. <laughs> Open that. Shoot these. I'm not quite sure where all the things are teleporting to, if that makes sense. Well, it obviously makes perfect sense because it was English, and I don't feel like I misspoke or obfuscated my meaning in any way, but... I still feel like... I don't actually know what I'm trying to do here. And whenever these things teleport, sometimes they teleport into here. Sometimes they teleport over there. There's plenty of shotgunnery around, so that's helpful. And I can see you over the top of that, which is also helpful, but... I mean, now might be a good time to activate the Baron of Hell. When we're not in there. So we pick up this HP, try and get... A little bit closer to not being dead. And then... Because last time we stepped around the corner here, things woke up. 
one of which was the Baron of Hell. So you've turned off over there, that's fine. Let me do this. Causes them to teleport all over the damn place. That's fine. Now we're in sort of a haven right now. That we can use to pick them off slowly. Many of them have shotguns, so we can... Well, it takes fewer shots to kill them than it does to... Than, than they drop, i.e. four. Basically okay. That's got rid of a bunch of them. Let me do it again. There we go. Fuck. Did you see it? Did you see it? I saw it. Oh, shit. Why are you here? <laughs> Let me out. I don't want to be part of this. I'm not part of your system, man. So can we explain how a rocket launch from two boxes of rockets is still only fucking eight? Right, okay. Done that. That was basically the worst part over, but I still panicked like a mofo trying to figure out where the jinkies is going to be. Wow. So it's going to be one here. Not one there. I don't need that. This will also switch, but I don't want it. Blood on his face is not relevant. You stop teleporting. Fine. I mean, a lot of this would be a lot more difficult if I was still using... Why did you disappear again? Uh, original Doom controls, right? That would be very difficult indeed. You shot me in the head. Luckily, I'm immune to being shot in the head, <laughs> apparently. Alright. 20% health, but still not dead. That was lucky. <laughs> Just happened to assume that he was there and fired anyway. So in here, probably something horrible. This looks horrible. Anything? Yeah. Again, these doors block sound, which is how the game works with that. I'm stuck on the door again. I continue to be stuck on that door, which is very frustrating. And then, no doubt, we're going to have a Baron of Hell or some bullshit like that. Oh, shit me. <laughs> I've only got... I've basically got zero hits left in me, so don't get hit again. Now what? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do anything. Oh, these don't exist. Yeah, I think there's things behind them. So this is going to be horrible as well. What was it? <clears throat> right now we do this. See, I anticipated that too. Basically, this is a pandemonium level of everything teleporting on top of you. As long as you're ready for it, we should be okay. Honestly, I'm terrified by this. We have lines that only teleport enemies, which is bullshit. Enemies that are trapping us behind them. I, I'm actually slightly terrified. I'm very surprised, in fact, that we haven't had... Uh, any more mishaps from being stuck on something because I'm moving so fast and trying to aim and run at the same time. Oh, right. Honestly, I don't know if we can survive. I'm hoping that by getting through this level they just give you a soul sphere at the end of it all. I'm going to tentatively look through here. If this happens again, by the way, if we die again, I'm safe scumming the shit out of it. No, there's nothing left. Oh, but what's that button do? Can we talk about this? For a start, there's got to be a way up there. Right? I don't want to step on that because it undoubtedly hurt me. Let's, let's quick save it here to see if this does anything. No, there's nothing there. Okay. Well, this is some sort of summoning chamber, apparently. Break this? No. 
<clears throat> uh, this, this must do something. Because it makes a noise like... Something goes up and down. Can zoom out anymore? Yeah, not much. Hmm. I mean, unless that teleports us to the end, but I think the red line means it's the exit, so I'm just going to leave this level and presumably die immediately on the next one, but that's okay. Hell beneath. No secrets. Not even all the kills or all the items, which is worrying. Perfect hatred. What the fuck? This is the level I was thinking of. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm just going to uh, make sure that I'm in a semi-safe position after all this. Those two health boxes are basically saviors right now. Which I guess is why they're there. We did manage to succeed in the finishing the first level, and I think. I don't mind having slightly saves going a little bit to achieve that. We are about to run out of everything except for cells, and we have nothing with which to uh, fire cells, so it's going to be a problem. Academians are notoriously difficult to beat with a shotgun. Which is all I have to fend off these hordes. I mean, we just picked up those shell those cells as well, so... We have rockets over there. They may come in useful. Unfortunately, suspect... I'm gonna be, uh... Relying on explosive weapons at close range, which is a problem for me. What I might be able to do is just get some good value out of them by exploding multiple things. Like oh, why did I stand there once? Um, I mean, really, all I have to do is kill this one. Oh my Jesus. Where did you come from? Oh, that's handy. Oh, perfect. Brilliant. Exactly what we needed. I mean, the <laughs> suite of enemies at the end of it that caused me to use up all my newfound ammo does not help. And the uh, significant amount of damage I'm taking from this cacodemon who chose to flank me in, in, in that little area also doesn't help, but, you know, you win some, you lose some. Let's see if there was anything else here. Yes, there was. All right. Plasma stuff. So I think this is the level where you eventually end up Having to just run past a whole bunch. Oh, thank you. I could have done better than that by um, trying to uh, trying to engineer it so that I could pick up those um, health packs up there before I did that. But I didn't. Yeah, exactly. I was worried that I was going to end up running out of the protection before I manage to get up there. So I'm going to save it. Excuse me, pardon me, burping. Save it here. That's uh, another episode already with me dying more times than I've ever died before. Um, we've beaten the original game, which is great to see, and then there's this extra episode. I'm assuming that the extra uh, episode of Doom means that we're going to have a five-minute episode at the end of this series. But anyway, thank you for watching it. I hope you're enjoying it, and I hope you're looking forward to the end of this, and then we can start playing Doom 2016, and I can finally find it if all my predictions about how much better it is than Doom 3 are true. But remember, leave a like. That helps people find us, and remember to subscribe because that helps you find us, and I hope to see you in the next episode. But until till then, I will see you.